Good evening, everyone. We're going to start with questions for our two student athletes. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Yeah, just take me through the early part of the third period and the, the, the 12 seconds that sort of obviously changed everything. Yeah, um, it's working. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll be the first one to tell you I didn't make a good enough play on either of those goals. So um, I take responsibility for those. It's a tough read for me on the first one. Um, so I'm coming in the middle. I slowed my feet down and gave him the wide lane. He took it. So, uh, you know, as a man, I'll say it that I do take responsibility for that. Um, you know, it's a team game, but I think I could do better on those plays. In the moments after a defeat like this, obviously you had an incredible year. What, what, what is sort of the emotion when you lose? You lose to the team you lost to. You obviously lose in a regional final, but you've also just had this sort of renaissance of a season. How do you put things into words and context? Yeah, I mean, what we did um, this year, able to do a great job in the rivalry in that sense. Um, you know, it's a great season that we had full of you know, we got some great hardware and um, unfortunately fell short here. Obviously, this is, this is the most important thing in our season. This is the goal that we worked to all season. There's some great accolades that we went and got on, on the way, but um, you know, it's going to be a continued um, year of work to get back here. So. Yeah, how do you loot? How do you use a loss like this to Michigan to kind of build off of and take this season and make it kind of the standard here at Michigan State? Um, I mean, it's never easy losing a game like this, especially to those guys. So, um, I mean, as much as it stings now, you kind of just got to try and look to the future and use this all summer to motivate you. Hope you can get back. Any, any more questions for our two student athletes? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We're going to open up the floor for questions for Coach. Adam, from your perspective, you kind of take me through that, that tough sequence there where they, they get the two goals in, in a matter of seconds. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, First off, congrats to Michigan. They've had a heck of a season, really good push here, you know, a ton of respect for their program. And, you know, I thought we, you know, it was a, I mean, a really good college hockey game. I don't think the score reflects it and obviously got away from us there. We, you know, it's tied with eight minutes left. Um, you know, I thought that was big time execution by our guys in a critical moment to score on the power play. Um, yeah, and then, and then, and then, you know, we gave a couple got beat wide there. And, um, you, again, you're playing against a talented team and they put you in, put you in tough spots, you know, so. Um, you know, what I did like is, again, the score doesn't show it, but, um, you know, I, I think it's really big. You, you, you win with class and you lose with class, and I thought our guys finished the game in, in that type of environment uh, really well. Um, and that's important what we're trying to do. I, I, th I still think we're laying a foundation of building a program here, and um, those are key ingredients for at least what I value in, in a program. Um, and I thought the guys did a good job of that. Um, what do you think kind of – because it seemed like a pretty even game kind of throughout until kind of third. What um, what do you think Michigan did differently um, towards the end? Um, they did a good job. I mean, I think they were, you know, obviously they had a one-goal lead, so I thought they were, you know, putting it behind us and credit to them. And then, then we scored on the power play there, right? And it's a, it's a, it's a tight game. And, um, and then those are just – that's a little bit when it's, you know, you got eight minutes left there. And – um, they definitely got some talent. Some guys made a big time play. I mean, the, the play that Duker made was a, a big time net drive. And then, you know, Frankie Nazar, um, the reason he went that high in the draft, right? A pretty special play to get to, to Gavin. And um, so I, I don't know if they changed anything. I think they, did, they executed in critical moments. Uh, just looking on your side, you know, you scored two power play goals. Your penalty kill um, does a really good job for, for the whole game. What did, did you notice anything on, on your side, five on five, that could have been a little better? Um, I think finishing on your chances. You know, I thought I thought um, their goalie played well. We had some really good looks, especially in the second there. You know, I think you got to 
um, and credit to him. I don't think he's gotten the credit to how he's played in this series, you know, throughout the season. I thought he's, he's, he's made some big time saves and, um, you know, I, can, I think I can think of a handful where we're right in the slot um, and he made, he made some big saves. So I, I thought we generated enough to score. Um, now and it's about finishing at that point. I know it's the moment after a disappointing loss, but you, you talked about the building blocks. And I'm just wondering if you were able to sort of put the season in the context with the two Big Ten titles, the winning you know, NCAA tournament, all the things that were sort of accomplished among those building blocks. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably don't do a good job of recognizing that during the year. It's always move on to the next. And, you know, I think now that the season's done, some, some time to reflect and just talk to the guys after. You know, I, I think it's pretty arrogant to think I have the words to help them feel better. You know, this one hurts for sure. And it, it's not about who we played. It's just you know, an opportunity to go play in, in a frozen four and, and uh, with the season we've had. But I, I do think you step back. I mean, I don't know if we were picked to finish third or fourth in our, in our conference. Um, you know, we, we were first place wire to wire, and that's not easy to do in our conference uh, with, with the youngest team. And we got 18 guys, freshman or sophomore, be back. Um, and you think about that. That's why I respect our guys a ton because every night this year we played, um, the, the other team was, hey, we're coming in to play first place Michigan State for 24 games. And that's, that's pretty impressive. And um, obviously to win you know, our, our, our tournament, you know, championship in front of our home crowd. And I mean, I think super thankful. I've mentioned this before, but, you know, we're obviously, we, we, we're building this thing, but it all ties back to Ron and how Ron built this program. And if you look at our fan, I mean, our, our last game, uh, tickets were going for 1500 bucks. That's nothing that we did. Ron had established a culture, a hockey town, um, and we just need to get out, put a product on the ice that people are excited about, and we're not perfect. But I do think you watch our team play. We do play team hockey. We play hard. I think we represent Michigan State the right way. And i um, proud of our guys for, for building some excitement in our community. And it wasn't a given. Like when we started out, there, there was, you, you could have shot a cannon off and not hit anyone at Munn. And then things slammed now. It'd be sold out every single game. So, um, and that's a testament to our guys. Um, again, because I think they do it the right way. Not just game, but we see them do it in practice. We see you do it in the weight room, the classroom. We had the highest grade point in the history of the program. Um, they're super active in the community. I think that's really important, and especially in a world that's really confusing for, for players right now, where it's about me and what do I get, and, and it's, it's not about you, it's about the team, and it's about giving back to the community, and I think that's why we've connected with our community. So we got a lot of momentum, um, super exciting time with our program, but we're not, we're not there yet, you know, and that's, um, it's okay to have the, enough humility to look in the mirror and just, we, we gotta get better, and um, we got a group of guys that understand that. Any more questions for Coach? Good. Thank you.